we've done the lithography, we can pass the wafer into what's called a CDSEM, a critical dimension SEM, and we can verify the dimensions that we've achieved. And you know, if if we haven't got what we wanted, we can strip off the resist and pass and and repattern using a different exposure dose. So the, the the good thing about that is we don't go away and etch a wafer, and that's obviously a permanent change if the dimensions are wrong. Um, and you'll notice, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of data about CDSEM. I've sort of exaggerated a cross-section profile you might get of a, in this case, a, a waveguide or grating structure. Um, and you can see on the on the SEM image on the on the left that you'll see these bright regions at the edge of the features. So that's the sloped area. So we can actually measure the top of the slope and the bottom of the slope by CDSEM and then estimate the middle point or the sort of the average width of a device. And here this shows some typical data that we might see um, in the cornerstone process. This particular um, process is from the 340 nanometer SOI platform. And the target feature width for a waveguide is 450 nanometers. So you can see a map of what this might look like um, with some typical sort of tolerances that, that you'll see. And I'll sort of skip over this, but this is just to show um, variations you might see across wafers. So the previous slide was on a single wafer. This now shows multiple die on multiple wafers, but in this case it's for a 220 nanometer SOI platform and it's the grating coupler edge, so we're targeting a slightly different dimension. <laughs> 